Good morning, Duddles. I'll save that for later. I made a whole video about what I was going to say in this intro, but I'll save it for later. Um, thank you to Alex. He is, again, a recurring patron. If you would like to be a patron, let me know. The link is down below as long... No, I'm not going to give that away either. Okay. So, this month, it's a symphonic black metal list. He said, when done right, it's his favorite genre. I concur. I feel like there's a lot of gray area when you go into black metal. Some of it's really intense. Some of it's more mood-based. And it's all kind of what the artist wants to create. But the way we all perceive it is completely different. So I always find black metal kind of interesting because everyone thinks it's like, oh, it's super heavy and it's this or it's that, but it's actually not. But he made a very fine point saying we don't do enough of it on this channel. And that's typically because I have heard a lot of the wrong. But as with all music, anything is welcome on this channel. So the first line is once a man built a large and grotesque wall. How can a wall be grotesque? Okay, we're not going to get into it. I mean, we are, just like not nitpicking. synth is cutting through everything and it's giving you almost a, like a melody to follow or it is giving you a, not not really a melody because it's only like sound effects you get what I'm saying I like that it's cutting through all the harshness again and we're only like a minute 38 in but somewhere in here you can hear the guitar and it's really pulling a lot of emotion out of the listener like for me it's carrying remorse and shame and like uh, almost looking back I don't know and I like I like the strings I like the strings in this too
pathetic living corpse was joined by other insipid souls in this work for them purloined, and generations massively adopted the habit instituted by this madman drowning in his vomit. It's almost poetry. Huh. to tell the difference sometimes. this crazy imagination like I do where they're depicting someone like falling down through hell while that was going on. I really kind of appreciate the artistry and the mastery that goes behind pieces like that that takes so many elements and they take so much careful playing and piecing them together so that you can create that and nothing is throwing the other off, nothing's overpowering each other, nothing's taking over your ear. You can all kind of experience it together. I like that a lot and that's that's one thing I say in a lot of my videos is if my ear can pick it up something went wrong it's not blending properly and that was perfect and that's a perfect example of kind of like what music is for me what it means to me it's like you're, you're able to create these imaginations create these stories in your head based on what you're hearing um, so yeah that was pretty cool <laughs>
IQ or Clam JMU. Not trying to be sexist. The drummer on this, I was going to say this earlier and I forgot to mention it and I didn't want to pause it right then. The drummer is absolutely fantastic. Probably one of the best I've ever heard. The little add ins he's doing, the little fills, the little add ins, all the little grooves he's doing. Don't even know if those are the right words, but they sound right. Everything that he's doing extra in between, he's he's not letting a bunch of space build up. And I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I like that he's not just there to carry a beat and to be the band metronome. You know what I mean? He's there. He's a part of it. And I really like that inclusivity. Inclusivity. Inclusivity or inclusivity? Is there a T in there? Too. I know I backed it up a little sooner than, oh, later, later than I wanted it to be. Classical Spanish inspired guitar had a baby. I feel like it would be this. Was that drums? Was that what that was? I thought it was like thunder or like, you know when um, trains sometimes connect and they like shake your whole house and you get this like deep, like was that part of the music or did that happen and I don't live near a train? <laughs>
years. Holy shit. Okay. How are they doing that? There's like no treble, no static, no high end, no clipping, no anything. It's just this deep, like... like cushions on the end of drumsticks and they're like hitting a really really deep bit I don't know I don't know but that is so cool how they created that and you wouldn't expect it either I don't even know if you can pick it up like I've got these headphones which are great but like I don't know if you can hear it I might just sound like a crazy person right now and that's okay too but that is cool <laughs> I kind of just want to keep going back to it because I thought Either there was an earthquake or a train magically appeared outside of my house. I was like, what is that? And then I was like, wait a minute. Or like, I thought like, I don't know, the dog ate the cat or something. Like, I don't know. And then it's, hold on. I just... female voices in the background like do I just want there to be female voices in the background like this angelic choir or am I hearing it very softly in the background I don't know I do that a lot my brain <laughs> will create sounds in my head I gotta back that up <laughs> what the hell just happened that was a roller coaster ride like what is... number one the lyrics are like reading poetry so not only is it very intellectual but also like artistic and raw at the same time it's like someone who's very 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 deeply hurt and they write in this way to cover that up. I know because that's what I do. <laughs> and, oh man, okay, okay. And then you've got this like, not imaginary aspect, but imagination aspect where the whole song, it's like, you're falling through hell and eventually find peace. Like, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, that was crazy how it ended though. And I don't know how they created some of those sound effects. I've never heard sound effects like that before. Or instruments. I don't, I don't know whether they're effects or instruments. Like, I don't fucking know. But damn. I don't, I don't know. I kind of want to listen to it again, but then I'm like, I don't know if I can put myself through that again. That was kind of a roller coaster. Anyways, I hope everyone enjoyed that. I will try to move on to the next one. Although, um, I should have not drank all the wine the other night would have been a good idea. <laughs> Man.